Hi, Morgan here for Onefinity and hoping you all had a wonderful Christmas with your friends, family, and loved ones. And if you'll indulge me for a second, I'd love to tell you about how Onefinity saved my Christmas. December 23rd, thought I'd finally finished all my holiday shopping when it suddenly hit me. The company holiday party that I had totally forgotten about was in just a few hours and I had no gift to bear. And I was already on thin ice with Darlene from accounting because last year I showed up to the gift exchange with a $5 gift card to Red Lobster. Fortunately, I have a sophisticated machine that can whip up a nice personalized gift in no time flat. And no time flat is exactly how long I had. So here's what I did. I went down to the nearest everything store. And by everything store, I mean Target, Walmart, K... Is Kmart's whole thing? I don't know. Uh, you know, whatever's close. I was specifically looking for some wooden product that I could easily modify on the seed and see to make it my own. Actually, I actually had pretty good luck with the seasonal section at my neighborhood grocery store. I got this acacia serving board for eight bucks. I think that's a pretty good price considering it saves me from having to drive down to the hardwood dealer, pick out some wood, drive home, mill it up, wait for it to move, then mill it again. Look, I don't have that kind of time and no one needs to know I didn't make this thing from scratch. It'll be our little secret. First, I took measurements of the whole piece and also the design in the middle. Personally, I'm okay with that design. It's a fine design, but it says joy to the world. The whole world, that's literally everyone. That's the least personalized it can get. So that design's gotta go. On my iPad, with the help of Shaper 3D, I drew up a simple rectangle and a brand new personalized message. In VCarve, I created a pocket toolpath to cut out the kind of shallow dish style cavity using a bowl bit. That'll get rid of the laser etched design and give the whole thing a little depth and functionality. I used the bowl and tray bit from Bits and Bits. It has a quarter inch radius, a three quarters of an inch diameter, and a five eighths length of cut. Because this bit is three quarters of an inch around, I took fairly light passes and set my feed rate down to 100 inches per minute. I saved the G-code to a thumb drive and loaded it up on the machine. Then I just slapped that bad boy down on my wasteboard, secured it in place, set my X and Y origin, probed for Z, then ran the toolpath to cut out the tray cavity. Once that was done, I replaced the bowl and tray bit with a 90 degree V-bit to run the engraving toolpath. The text will be cut with an engraving toolpath. I'm going to zero out my Z-axis from the bottom of the cavity, not the top of the original surface, then ran the program. After the engraving toolpath was finished, I wanted to fill the engraving with something to make it pop. I didn't have time for regular epoxy to cure, so I figured I'd try some epoxy putty. It's dark, it hardens super quick, so I just kind of smushed it into the engraving the best I could. 10 minutes later, I put the bowl and tray bit back in the router, probed for Z from the original top of the material, and ran the first toolpath again. The bit is set to only cut 75 thousandths of an inch per pass, so it won't actually cut anything until the fifth pass. And while the bit was just floating around in space not cutting anything, I used that time to run into the house, pick out my tackiest sweater, and get ready for the party. When I got back into the shop, the bowl and tray bit had cleared out the excess epoxy from the bottom of the cavity just like I wanted. Then all I had to do was give everything a light sanding and rub on some oil and wax finish. And just like that, I had a personalized one-of-a-kind piece in record time thanks to my Onefinity. Oh, and by the way, Darlene, she loved it. She was speechless. So speechless, in fact, she didn't talk to me the rest of the night. Well, anyway, I hope you have better time management skills than I do, but if you ever find yourself in a pinch like I did, you don't need to be a hero. Let Onefinity be the hero. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more holiday-saving tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and from all of us at Onefinity, Happy New Year. Y'all be good.